Welcome guys! Today I am going to show you how to render this beautiful tire in the Keyshot Pro and I just want to say a big thank you to all my subscribers and all the people who support me and if you want guys 3D models and 3D scenes ready to render in Keyshot you can visit my Patreon page and support me if I will have something like 10 or 15 Patreons I will start upload 3D models regularly so you can all download it so that's it let's start working on this beautiful tire so first of all i'm just going to show you how it looks this is like the basic model this is my camera i just import model that's it all right so this is just a simple model with the paint uh, made texture and there is nothing really on this material so it's just the basic so first thing I'm going to do is to create the ground plane so you can go to the add geometry and hit the button ground plane or just the plane. So I'm going to create the plane. This will be something to like this. I need to make it bigger of course. So maybe like this. Okay, maybe to like this. This is all right. I'm going to set up my camera view and my camera view I'm just going to find a little bit more interesting look something to like this I'm going to use these quarters so I will have a better idea if I'm in the middle of the frame on the picture so something to like this so I'm going to rotate the azimuth This is good. Okay. This looks all right to me. 80, maybe less, maybe more. Okay, something to like 80 is nice. And I'm going to click on this. And you can click on this button right now. So just go here, click on this, click on this, and click on this. So we got to look at our camera. And if you start moving like this, you click on the camera you are back to the back to this view so make sure you are in the basic rendering mode so your preview is a little bit faster and responsive i'm going to create a uh, material for this tire but i'm going to use just the simple tire texture right now Uh, got uh, like a uh, preview what's going on when I'm going to create the new environment this is like the basic key shot environment when you open key shot for the first time this is like the basic HDRI map so I need to change this ground plane and this ground plane will be plastic plastic I want black plastic and this will be this will be something to like this. Something to like this. And just a little rough, not too much. And this is all right. I'm going to create like the infinity edge. So I'm going here to the texture. This is like the texture in the key shot. So you just drag and drop it to the opacity channel and I'm going to use I don't want the repeat I don't want this and I'm going to the material graph and I'm going to check how it looks okay this will be maybe a little lower like 300 centimeters okay this looks better now i'm going to create the environment oh click on the style i'm just going to make the material a little bit reflective that's all for now. I'm going to the environment, click on 
add new environment, highest resolution. We are going for this black, um, black HDRI background. I'm going to create the add the new pin. I want this to add a little, little bit bigger punch, so a little bit more brightness. And I want the fall of edges. And I'm going to brightness this part right here. Something to oh, something to like this. Okay, and I'm going to I'm going to make sure it's in the right position. So just eyeball it. Okay, something to like this. I'm going for another light. So duplicate this one. Oops. Click on this so we can use again this, this tool. And I'm going to add this top part. And this light is a little bit brighter. So I'm going to make it less bright and a little bit more to the left and a little bit higher. Okay. This looks good for me. And we need to create just a couple more, couple, couple more lights. So duplicate again this one. And I'm going to write this part right here. I need to make this light... Um, a little bit more to the left side. Something to like this and this little bit down. Maybe something to like this. This looks actually really good. Okay, maybe a little bit more bright. Okay, that's very nice. We are going to create another light. So I just want to make sure there is enough light right here. So a little bit more to the right side and a little bit more down or up, something like this. And I'm going uh, to the settings tab and I see my lights is popping up right here and I don't want it. So I'm going for the color and I'm going to make this completely black. All right. Okay, maybe not too much black, but I'm going for something to like, something to like this. And I'm going to click on this material and this is all right. I'm just going to make sure my camera is all right and we are going to continue. So HDRI. Okay. This is the last light what we made, but it's like too much bright. So we need to make it a little bit less bright. Something like this. This is like really good. Okay. We need a couple more lights. So duplicate this one and Okay, we are going to light this part right here. So we need brighter light and we need to go a little bit, a little bit like this and a little bit down, something to like this. This is all right. And the last light, we need to light the hitting these background or back side of the tire so i'm going to bring this a little bit like this i'm going to hit this to make less bright and okay this will be something to like this and we are going a little bit higher Okay, maybe not so, maybe not too much high. 
Okay, this is nice. Okay, this is our environment. So I'm going to click on done. I'm going to make the overall uh, overall HDRI bright and more contrast. Okay, I'm going to render this HDRI in full resolution. Okay. And we can start working on our tire to make it look realistic. So, first of all, I need to click on this tire. I want this tire to be completely black. And I'm not going to use these parameters right here, but I'm going to use this texture. So, I'm going to find uh, my texture here. I already import my textures. So, I'm going to use the texture with name dirt that's my texture and i'm going to hit the diffuse and i'm going to undo this sync button so i will when i will have multiple texture here i will not adjust them so i will be adjusting just this one you can see i completely destroyed the color of the tire but that's all right i'm just going to make it a little bit more darker right here and maybe I need it a little bit more rough, not a reflective, but a little bit more something to like this. Okay, I'm going back to my diffuse texture. And I'm going to click on the UV button. This is all right. And I'm going to hit this contrast value to make it a little bit more contrast. So just make it double. Okay, the another texture for the specular will be again dirt, but it will be a little bit different. Okay, and I'm going to uncheck the sync button. And I'm going for the overall brightness free, and this will be like 1.25 contrast. And we need to make like mm, a couple more changes on this tire. We need to make the bump map. So click on the bump, but we need to like two bump maps. So not only one image. So we need two. So we are going to open our material graph. We are going for the utilities bump add. We are going to bring this to the bump slot. So now we can have like two images, combine it, and they are create the bump, one bump map. So I'm going to find my Pirelli side tire texture, bring it right here. This will be like the bump number one, and you can see what's happening. Now, we, can, we need to change this from the box to the UV. And we got the exact same position, and this is like too much. So we need just like this. Oops, my fault. This is much more better. Okay, I adjust the contrast. Mistake, sorry. We need to go right here. All right, uncheck this repeat and the sync button. Okay, then it looks good. And what we need to do is to make, make the another texture right here. And this texture will be again, I'm using all the time the same texture. So I'm going to use the dirt, my dirt texture again. So just bring bringing this right here, the JPEG and uh, we need to add, we need to give this texture to the slot number two. Double click on this and I'm going for the UV, but I'm going to make sure this is all unchecked. UV, now you can see how it looks. It's like too much bump everywhere. <laughs> and I'm going here and. <laughs> 
Okay, I just need to make sure it's not so much bumpy. So something to like this. More brightness and more contrast in this bump map. Now I'm going to show you how it looks. Now it's like really start looking good, but you can see we got no definition in this text. So we need to make it and we are going to bring label to this texture. So I'm going back to my material graph. I'm going back to tire and you can see we completely lost all the details. So we need to go back to the textures. Click on the bump, apply bump to labels. And now we can see we bring all those details back. Now we need to make now we need to make these uh, definitions. So I'm going to open my material graph. I'm just going to duplicate this map. So hit control, uh, sorry, hit the Alt button and just drag and drop it like here and bring this map to the opacity right here. So we got it in this slot. And we are going to click on this. This is the UV. You can see what's happening. I'm going to make this red so we will have a better idea. Now, when you're changing these parameters right here, you can see you can make it a little bit different, but I'm going to make sure this is in the color slot. And I'm going to un uncheck this sync button. And I'm going to make this free and free to get a little bit more contrast in it. And you can see we're hitting this side side of the tire. And that's the that's something what I really don't want. So this material is from two parts. From this and this. So I'm going to click on this. Properties, unlink material, double click on this, labels. Delete labels from here. You can see it's deleted from this side. So double click on this. So we're going back to our label right here. We're going to click on this and we need to get this completely black. All right. And we need this a little bit more like this. And we need to change <laughs> maybe this no just a little bit and you can see we got nice definition in this text so it's a little bit darker and it looks really good and that's that's complete that's the whole tire so we need to make the final adjustments and these final adjustments define a little bit more this render so i'm just going back to my camera, click on this. I'm going to my image style, create new image style, photographic, and I'm going to bring this value, something to like this. This is our exposure. And this will bring a little bit bluish color. So maybe something to like, something to like this. And a little more contrast. So, maybe like this okay exposure a little bit more no this is all right a little bit more bluish and this is our final tire i'm going to use the noise i'll just only small number so because when you got like the one the whole image is completely smooth you lose all the details 0 0.2 is really good i'm going back to my lightning i'm going to click on product for the highest preview or highest visualization for the highest quality. I'm going to render this. So I'm going to hit the render button. I'm always using PNG. I'm going for the highest resolution or a little bit higher. I'm going to click on clown pad. I'm going in the options and mm, I'm not going to use the custom control today. I'm just going for the maximum samples and I'm going to make 256 samples. So what's happening now, 
256 samples will be, will be rendered with these settings. If I change this to the interior mode, 256 samples will be rendered in interior mode with all these parameters. So I'm going back to the product and I'm just going to press the render button. But guys, uh, if you're doing renders like this, just go to the Google, check on the reference images, so you will be able to achieve, achieve, or you will be able to get better idea what you what you wanna do or what you are trying to do. So always look on real tires images, and it's just up on your imagination what you wanna do with this tire. You can make these decals in colors. You don't need to make it in the colors. This is like the simple tire, and everyone can do it. And that's all guys so thank you for watching this tutorial if you like it hit the like button if you like it too much hit the subscribe button and if you if you want to support me to do more videos like this go to my patreon page and you can uh, pledge me a little bit more so you will got um you will get access to the 3d models or 3d scenes and you will be able to render similar models models like this so thank you guys have a nice day and have a nice render bye